Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest episode in the Sunset Valley Let's Play franchise. Um, uh, thank you for bearing with me over these last few months. I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, I got a new job and the work-life balance has been a bit difficult to um, to fit in time to, to play this game. But I'm hoping that now I'm going to start getting back into it again. Um, and all your comments have been been really lovely uh, and that's that's really helped me find the, the motivation to find the time to get back to this. So thank you for that. Um, in the last episode, we played the single mum's household, as you can see. When we arrived at the single mum's household, Fiona and Molly were in a relationship. Um, by the end of it, they were married um, and it was very sweet, the wedding. And we also have um, their daughters in new relationships. So River McIrish ended up in a relationship with uh, Malcolm Langrab which is a very good match for her, I think. Uh, and the other daughter, Sandy French, managed to get into a relationship with Michael Batchelor. So it's all looking up for the single mum's household. However, today's episode, we will be playing with the Wan Goddard household. As I said at the end of the last episode, Pauline and Hank are two of my favorite Sims to play in Sunset Valley. Um, and I, I think it will be clear why as I go on through explaining this household. So they're difficulty level two, which makes sense. There's only two of them and they're a couple, so it's quite straightforward. Um, they have at the moment 5,471 simoleons in their account, so they're, they're pretty well off, um, considering. And their bio is as follows. Pauline and Hank are certain that they will be together forever because they have so much in common. Parties, the beach and music. The only question is whether they can maintain their lifestyle. I mean, parties, beach and music. I don't know anyone who doesn't like <laughs> the combination of those things. Um, unless you're an extreme introvert, I suppose. Um, but they are clearly not. They have this place in Raggio del Sol. It's a two bedroom, which they don't really need. Uh, 1.5 bathroom house. And it's a beachfront house, so they've got the view of the beach, which is clearly something they enjoy. Um, they're on one Sunsong Avenue, and it's a decently sized house, I would say, for two sims. The house bio is as follows. Italianate Victorian style is the centrepiece of this homey oceanfront two-storey house. It includes a combined living slash dining area, large bedrooms with generous porches, and plenty of private outdoor space. So let's start with Pauline. Um, as you can see, she's got a very tropical vibe, very beach wear vibe to her. Um, her name is Pauline Wan. Uh, in terms of family, they don't really have any um, extended family around. Uh, it's just this couple, um, but that's okay. Um, she is an Aries. Um, she's an adult and she ages up in 20 days. Uh, I think she starts this game as a young adult, so she must have aged up while we were playing other households. Her favourite music is Electronica, she likes sushi, and she likes the colour seafoam. I think all of that kind of makes sense with the beach front style. She is flirty, which I think is a big reason why these two don't work out, coupled with the fact that she also has commitment issues, so um, I don't think that's a great combo for a relationship, but you know, um, it is what it is. Um, she loves the outdoors. She's a party animal, but she's also ambitious. Um, she has dreams she wants to fulfill. Her personal bio is, Pauline Wan loves nothing more than hanging out with friends and passing the time with conversation about hopes and dreams that will probably never be realized at this rate. That's a bit depressing actually, isn't it? Or maybe not. That's just my interpretation of it. Um, she has uh, an old friend in Jamie Jolina and also Morgana Sekimoto. Don't forget, she's changed her surname since she's married. Um, she also has... Oh, her relationship with her husband is not great, um, as you can see. So it's not... I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, they're practically strangers. Um, Styles is her band mate i suppose you'd call it i don't know what stage she's yet in her career but she they work together um she has a couple of other people that she works with including river mckirish now that she's joined the career um and we've got dj alvi as her boss oh wow she really dislikes zelda may i can't remember if that's how it 
starts as the game or if they've just decided to hate each other during this. The same with Lisa Bunch. So she's got some rivalries for some reason. Okay, so her career. She is a fan. She is music level one. Let's be honest, um, her ambitious side is not really kicking in with regards to her career. Um, she's got great musical skill and mood and she's, you know, got a decent enough performance meter. Um, and we will have three days of her working in this round, so maybe we can get her a promotion if she can be bothered to get one. Um, but she works, you know, probably not the most sociable hours, but at least you can get a lion. Her skills, she has, wow, her best skill is actually logic. Uh, she's logic level four. She has athletic skill level two, cooking skill level one, and guitar level three, close to being four. In her inventory, she has two stereos, which goes with the party aesthetic, and also a guitar. She's got no opportunities, and her needs seem fine. She does need the loo, but other than that, she seems fine. Um, she's entertained, she has a beautiful vista, which we'll see in a minute. It is very nice lot. Um, she's clean, and she's in attractive company, so at least she fancies her husband, even if she doesn't seem to get on with him that well. Now, one of the issues, and probably another reason why they break up, other than the fact she's flirty and has commitment issues, is the fact that her lifetime wish is to be a heartbreaker, um, which means that she wants to be the girlfriend of ten different sims. Now, that's obviously not going to be possible when she's married to Hank, um, because you can't be in a relationship with someone while also being married. They don't have, I mean, in real life, people do do that. Um, but... Oh, I see. Actually, they're not married. They're just, she's just fiancé. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know if they'll actually get married at this rate. But anyway, I thought they were married. No, they're engaged. Um, that does make sense. They still have the different surnames. Okay, so they're engaged. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if they're ever going to really marry. Um, she wants to join the military career. Again, this one time assuming is just popping up because it's the start of this game. Um, she wants to buy a logic book and buy a telescope. So nothing to do with her career, but that's fine. We can progress her logic if she wants to. And that about sums up Pauline Wan. I would say Hank Goddard is quite a conventionally attractive sim. Um, I'm not sure about this little goatee thing he's got going on, but is that what it's called? I don't know, but I'm not a fan of it either way. Um, he's actually, okay, he's a young adult and his birthday is today. So that can be how we start. We could start with a birthday for him. Um, as previously explored, he doesn't have any extended family other than his fiancée. He is a Taurus. Uh, he loves the outdoors, just like Pauline. He's a great kisser. He also has commitment issues. Again, another reason why they keep breaking up. Um, he is a schmoozer and he's also charismatic. He likes pop music, fish and chips and sea foam. Again, the beach theme there. Hank describes himself as free like the wind and his fiancée agrees. Wait, is this going to work? Um, spoiler, probably not, but that's fine. Uh, relationships, Justine Keaton is an old friend, uh, a colleague as well. Uh, Jamie Jolina is also a friend, so I think Jamie's probably someone who we're going to see this episode if they both get on so well with her. Um, he has quite a few acquaintances, again, gets on all right with his fiancée. Um, oh, and really dislikes Blair Wainwright, his boss, which I'm sure really helps with his career progression. Um, okay, so he is a traffic cop. He's law enforcement level three. Um, we're going to have two, two days of work with him. We'll probably have to wait until after he's back from work for his birthday party. He has not quite got enough logic skill points, um, but he has a great relationship with his partner. And he's a bit low on the bar at the moment, but we can bring that up, I think. Yeah, so he should be having to max out his logic skill points that he needs. He should be having five. He only has one. Um, but he does have athletic skill level three, which will come in handy soon, I think, in his career. He has charisma skill level two and guitar level two as well. In his inventory, he's got a guitar. Uh, he's a bit hungry, but I genuinely, I mean, he's got a minute until the bus comes for work. So I don't, yeah, I don't think you're going to have time to prepare for waffles, Hank. Uh, he also wants to be a heartbreaker. So I really don't understand how these two got on. I guess they are like-minded souls. But yeah, it's just not, it's just not going to happen. Um, and again, we'll get rid of, of this career.
pop up. So now let's have a quick look at the house. Um, this is the living room. Um, it's actually, it's quite nice. Um, I like the yellow colours that they've got going on. They've got not a great TV, but it'll, it'll do the job. They've got a desk, a bookshelf, obviously a big speaker for when they have their parties. Um, and the dining room um, is kind of forms part of the living room as well. In the kitchen, they have this very interesting green, red and yellow theme going on I don't I'm not sure what it is I don't really like it but that's okay it's not my kitchen so that's fine um, it's a very spacious room I think they probably could do more with it to be honest if, if I was if I was them but that's okay maybe it's for hosting all the parties people can like mill around in the kitchen I don't know they also have this cute little downstairs bathroom, um, that's quite nice actually. Again, you could probably fit a shower or something in here, but it's nice to have it be spacious. Then you go up the staircase and you're greeted with this really quite spacious and nice hallway. Um, that leads them to their bedroom, which is this room here. It's pretty decent. I, again, I'm not a massive fan of the colour scheme, but it's okay. It's a bit bare. Um, they've clearly converted this second room into a gym, which, I mean, it, it makes sense in terms of Hank being a, a police or in the law enforcement um, branch because he will need athletics soon. Um, it's quite a cool room, actually. I like this. I like it stylistically, actually. Uh, they have their upstairs bathroom, this blue, quite vibrant room. Um, again, they don't have a shower, which I always think is odd because it takes so much longer to use a bath. But, you know, if that's what they want, they clearly like to live in some luxury. Then they have this really nice outdoor patio space, which doesn't lead off from the bedroom, but it does um, lead off from this big hallway and they've got an easel there uh, and the downstairs one has um, a lounger and a table so they can watch out and look at the view which to be fair from their house is really nice so if you can just see here if they're lying back there they get a really nice view of this beach in terms of the outdoor space they have this um, quite large garden area out the front and around um, and it leads to this nice little um, secluded uh, backyard with um, a bicycle and a fire pit which I'm sure is really fun for their parties that they throw. Um, they also have a little driveway here which I'm sure gets used a fair bit. Um, that being said they don't seem to have a car so maybe it's just for when people pull up to the party I don't know but if they want to buy a car, they just need the wish and I'll, I can do that for them. Okay, so I think that's everything for now. Let's press play and see what they want to do. Pauline has turned the music straight on, which I do respect. And the carpool for Hank will come in an hour. It should already be here though. He starts work at nine. So I don't... Let's just send him off anyway. I don't want him to be late. Um, and other than hunger, he seems quite happy, so I think we can work hard um, and see if we can get him a promotion. I don't think he really needs one, and also he has commitment issues, so he'll probably just want to leave the career soon anyway, but we can try. So Pauline has decided to read this morning. That's fine. I think we're going to buy her a telescope. Um, she clearly wants to improve her logic skill point, so that's something we can do for her. I thought I'd just pop it up here. I think that'd be really nice to look at the stars over that view. Okay, she also wants to learn the fishing skill, which means she can hang out by the beach and use the telescope. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll give her um, a little try of the telescope and then we'll go out and practice fishing. Hank is really hungry. Um, I do apologize for not letting you eat, but you had work and that's on you. You should have thought about that earlier. Um, he wants to change jobs. See, this is the only issue with being, having commitment issues is they want to change jobs every five minutes. But I mean, if I guess if he wants to, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Hank was sitting at his desk filing out reports when a recently apprehended criminal broke free of her handcuffs and made a run for it. Hank was quick on his feet and tackled the perp before she got away. Hank's boss and co-workers are impressed. 
Okay, nice. Usually that means they get an increased relationship. Yeah, so he hates her less, which is great. Um, he already has a really good relationship with Justine, so I don't think that's necessarily gone up. But, you know, good for you, Hank. He also wants to learn a cooking skill point, which we can... Maybe it's because he's hungry. <laughs> he's like, I wish I knew how to make <laughs> some food. Okay, so Pauline's dancing, but we want to get her an improved skill. Let's search the galaxy. I want her to find something. Find a star or whatever she can find. Hank is really not happy. I hope his lunchtime's coming soon because when it gets to lunchtime the sim just eats something. I don't know what but the hunger bar goes away so I'm just <laughs> just holding out for that. Okay, so she's actually um, discovered a new small yellow subgiant, um, some kind of star. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot about astronomy, so. And she's been awarded 140 simoleons by the Holmberg Wheedler Astronomical Society. What should we name this star? Do you know what? I'm going to name it after her partner um i think that that's something that she would do it's a it's a nice sweet little gesture to hank um though i admit um he might not be her favorite person at the moment okay thornton wolf isn't paying his child support so that's really great i wouldn't have put it past him to be fair Okay, well, Hank's not hungry anymore, but he is not having fun, so... And he's not even close to improving, like... I'd hoped that he would at least be halfway to getting promoted, but he's not even close. Maybe we will change job. Um, okay, she's going to gussy up um, just in time to go down to the beach and to practice some fishing. Okay, I've just realised she doesn't really have time to practice fishing because she has to work to the end of her shift. So um, we're going to get her to go work hard instead. Um, and I think Hank's due to finish work around this time. So he's going to come back and plan his birthday party and hopefully Pauline can make it to the end of it. I mean, if he puts it in at maybe eight, seven or eight, there's still going to be guests around. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could have it at the beach. I know he's big on the outdoors and they both love beaches. So maybe that's a, a nice way of celebrating his birthday. Pauline is going to work. And almost at the exact same time, Hank is going to be finishing up. Oh, there's Justine. Hi, Justine. Bye. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, let's practice, not guitar, actually. Let's not do that. Let's throw a party instead. Oh, we don't like Blair. Well, I don't have a problem with Blair. I'm just saying Hank doesn't. Okay, let's go to the beach. How much is it for exclusive? Oh, no. I feel like it's nice to see the random people that show up. Okay, so we've got Jamie and Justine, our Hank's friends. Um, and who else do we want to invite? I know Morgana um, is Pauline's friend. Um, maybe we just invite a mix of people that he knows. So he knows of Holly. Um, he knows this Holly. Uh, I don't think we know her. Um, Tamara Donna. Gunther Goth. Uh, Gabias. And I don't know who she is. We'll invite Boyd as well. Um, I think that'll do. Um, we want a birthday party starting at, let's say, 7. So we have time to prepare and, let's say, just come and swim where. I mean, it's going to be freezing. Or it depends on where they are. I don't really know. Is Sunset Valley supposed to be hot weather? It's more for something the seasons control, but in the UK it would be awful to be swimming at this time of year. I like that he's on his little bicycle. In the middle of the road, though, I don't know. I think maybe keep to one side. I was thinking about babies. 
I wonder why. Do you think he's wants a child? <laughs> I feel like I'm just picking out like the tiniest signals to be like they want a child. <laughs> 100% he wants a child. Uh, I don't think that's how it is, but I can dream. Right, we need to buy him a birthday cake that he can take uh, in his inventory. I'll have to put it on the kitchen table for now. Um, what else would he want to bring? Uh, he, well, she has a stereo. Um, she has two stereos in her inventory. So let's just move one into his. Um, and then he can take that to the beach. Can I drag the cake into his inventory? Yeah, okay, brilliant. So we've got a cake uh, and he's got everything ready. Um, so maybe we should head... I mean, he's got three hours to his party. Um, maybe we should have some fun first. Try and pep him up a bit for this party. I don't know what he would want to do, though. Other than let's change jobs. Maybe he'll feel a lot happier knowing that he hasn't got to do the job he's currently in. Let's find a job. I mean, it's really going to affect them financially, though, because he's got he's gone three levels up in this career. He's on 55 an hour. And if he went to, like, the music career, he'd be on 21. So Paulie might not be so happy, but... Maybe he wants to find out what career Jamie's in and follow Jamie to her career. Let's also look at his skills and see what he would be good at because I don't want to put him in a career that he's going to be terrible at. Um, accountant, that's a mod I have um, to add some extra careers, as is banking. Um, bartending is one. Uh, I mean, he's a party sim and he's charismatic. Um, oh, they only have those three. I don't think bartending's... I think that's maybe modded because I don't have any of the expansion packs in. So maybe we need to try something else. Hmm. Is there anything he wants? Well, maybe we'll ask around careers and see if he reacts well to any of them when he's at his party. We'll just get there early and set up, maybe. Okay, so they want Pauline to read a book to improve the relationship with her boss. Um, that's fine, we can say yes. I don't know what her relationship with her boss is like, actually, I don't remember. Oh, though it just isn't one. Maybe that's probably a good thing. Oh, Pauline wants to change jobs as well. <laughs> These sims, I can't. Okay, we're going to put the cake here. Um, and maybe just put the music down here as well. I don't know if that's a good place. Um, we'll turn it on and... His favourite music's pop. Yeah, so we'll keep it as pop. Okay. Um, so he wants to use a telescope. I don't know if there is one here, actually. Um, but he's going for a swim anyway. So it's such a long beach, isn't it? It takes majors to get anywhere. I can't tell if it's cold or he's just struggling to walk in. <laughs> they walk so funny in the water. I mean, he's very toned. I'll give him that. There we go. We're off. Is this increasing his fun? Oh, at the slowest rate. Maybe we should go back to the... I don't know if this is technically part of the beach still. Or if it's... Yeah, visit. Yeah, he's not technically at the beach at the moment. And I want him to actually be there for his party. <laughs> Let's go get him to dance. Because I think that will cheer him up a bit. Like how, honestly, The Sims is so pretty. I just don't, I never understand why people complain about the, gra the graphics. It's so nice. Okay, we've got some people arrive. Um, Bo Andrews, I don't remember if I invited you or not, but anyway. Holly Alto, um, Jamie Jolina. Oh, let's say, let's call over to dance because we do actually like her. Um, oh, and we do want to know what her career is. So let's stop dancing and get to the point. What's your career and do we want to join it? I know it's the medical one, but I just don't know if that's something he actually wants to do. Career in medicine, so he wants to play a game with her and throw a great party. That's not really helped me in knowing if that's the career you want to do. See, I can see why they're friends. 
Um, okay, Gobias is eating a picnic. Justine is sunbathing in the dark. Boyd, I don't know what Boyd is doing. Oh, she complimented him. Oh, but it wasn't a flirty one. Oh, that's okay. I was thinking, oh, Jamie needs to chill with the flirting a little bit, but it's fine. Um, Pauline will be here soon to, um, to get in the way. They do really get on, though. Oh, no. No, no, she has flirted him. Look. She's flirted with him and he's not bothered. Good for you, Hank. Um, wait, let's not swim around because you won't be at your party anymore. Let's blow out the candles before everyone leaves. I feel like most people have left a swim and I don't think they'd come back for it, but we'll see. Are they coming back for it? No. He literally has Boyd Wainwright is the only person that's come to celebrate with him and he barely knows him. He's an acquaintance. I mean, this is kind of sad. Oh no, we've got Gunther Goth, who I think is even less of an acquaintance. Okay, brilliant. Well, either way, he's growing up. Hank is now a fully mature, at least some of the time, adult. He'll really need to think about establishing himself in this career and family life while there still is time. I mean, nothing really happens when you age up from a young adult to an adult. Maybe his interactions change. She wants to play the guitar. We can do that. Maybe at his party. Um, Justine's finally shown up, and so is Jamie to eat some cake. Oh, and we have um, Patrick. Wainwright has grown up. Um, just in the street. <laughs> That's fair enough. Let's have a quick look at him and see how he's aged up. Um, he was the kind of accidental child that we um forced upon the Wainwrights but he's very sweet he looks very much like his dad actually I would say um he's got very very light hair it's kind of like grayish in places um it's kind of cool though I like his little outfit actually it, it matches this is like a stylish sim I've decided if he grows up unstylish I'm going to be very sad because he's rocking what he's got right now his formal wear, oh, still so good. Look, he's matched the tie with the trousers. Oh, I love it. I love it, Patrick. That's, it's fine. He's a kid. He can wear the watermelon shorts and the, what is it? The vehicle top. That's not the best athletic wear, but it's fine. It's athletics. No one really cares. And swimwear, there's only so wrong you can get. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and his personality is he's a couch potato, he's a genius, and he's hot-headed. Okay, not great. Um, I'd rather him not be hot-headed, but um, that is an interesting combination of traits. Um, and just a reminder, these are all his favourite things, and he is a Capricorn. Okay, so he's he's doing all right for himself. Um, just a bit of an angry child. Maybe it's because, I mean, he's technically not an only child, but he's kind of growing up that way. Um, not so only children are angry, but maybe maybe he's just a bit of a spoiled kid. I don't know. He looks a bit miserable, doesn't he? Look at his face. <laughs> just an angry child. That's fine. We'll let him be. Pauline has nearly finished her work shift, so let's bring her over to the party. Um, they really need some lights in this venue. I don't know why it's so dark. She's hungry, but she's what she's done is she's taken time off from eating her cake to complain about being hungry. Oh, I guess she's got to go to work, that's why. I just thought that she was complaining for the sake of it, but you know what, I apologise, Jamie. That's on me. Okay, she's finally arrived. Although, someone's trying to phone her. Oh, she's thinking about kissing someone. I hope it's her partner. Okay, let's talk to Morgana. I feel like we invited her, but maybe we didn't. If we didn't, I apologise. Um, he's running to have a late swim. Um, she also wants to change her job, so what are we thinking? What job can we do? I can see that Justine's gone for a second slice of cake, and honestly, I relate to her immensely for that. I'm going to have Hank play guitar at his own party. That's something... I think he probably wants to do, yeah, he wants to play guitar, so we'll just, yep, stop eating cake and come watch his performance. Thank you. Oh, or is he leaving? 
Was it that bad? <laughs> was it something we said? I mean, no one is listening. I don't even know if anyone's still here. Yeah, it was a modest success. That was quite dangerous, actually, those two swimming out there. Like, look at that wave. It's quite intense. They need to be careful. Okay, so we've got Sam Sekimoto has aged up to a young adult. Um, which is weird, because he was a toddler when we started this series. Um, let's have a quick look at him as well. Because we will be playing the Sekimoto household um, uh, in the future. Um, they are some bold eyebrows, but again no hair okay so clothing wise i'm not even mad at it it's not the best but i mean it's it's all kind of brown and neutral it all goes so that's fine um very dapper really not sure about the shoes and how they match but i guess it's quirky okay i like the style i like the necklace he's got going on that <laughs> okay <laughs> it's something <laughs> that I got because I've got um, is it Dragon Valley or something um, one of the worlds and that is one of the outfits so he's decided to rock that when he goes running um, but at least he has some sensible shoes and he's got his chain and shorts I mean I, other than the athletics I don't hate it um, I don't know what which one of these skills he's gained um, but he is artistic, clumsy, daredevil excitable and neurotic and he wants to learn the wants to master sorry the charisma and guitar skills so he'll be interesting to play when we do play him and actually we've got eric crumplebottom um has aged up as well he's reached a teenager um he is the adopted child uh, i believe of agnes um he I think he was evil actually. I'm just gonna have to check that. What's his personality? Yeah, he's evil, he's computer whiz, he's neurotic and musical. I remember him being evil and musical. Um Yeah, he's got an interesting outfit on. I don't like it, but he's evil, so how much do I care about his stylistic choices? Um that's all right. Uh, that's fine for sleepwear, I suppose. If you're living in a house with like your your mum, you know you want to dress sensibly. Um, uh, that's okay. It's not great colour wise, but it is. It's better than what um, Sakamoto was rocking. Um, and okay, decent swimwear. So everyone's aging up um, nicely, I think. Um, we've got a few evil sims though, I can't, I don't think we actually have that many good, we've got more evil sims floating around than good at the moment, so we probably need to rectify that at some point if we can. So I think I'm going to send them both home, um, they've had a pretty decent party, but that's kind of it, it's over, I'm going to try and take back the items that they had, um, we can leave that slice of cake for some rando to eat. Um, they really don't have far to go to get back home. I'm just going to put the cake in the fridge. And we're going to find a job now that it's midnight. I wonder if that's the reset time. I can't remember if it's that or sometime in the morning. Um, so we'll see what they've got. Okay, so he could be a journalist. He could be a law in the law career, which again is one of my mods. Or the music career. Um, interestingly, he does know the guitar, so I wonder if maybe we should just change him to the music career. I think we're going to do it. There you go, see, he's happy now, he's joined the music career, which he actually had more skill points towards. And I don't know, I mean, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to change her career yet. We'll, um... Actually, do you know what, I'm going to invest in a computer so that she has more choices. Um, and we'll see if any of the options on the computer work for them. We'll just get them a cheap one because they didn't ask for it. I'm not trying to <laughs> bankrupt them. I actually think we're not going to have you go to bed yet. I think we're going to risky Wahoo because these two, um, I know that they wouldn't probably want a child. They have commitment issues, etc. But I just don't think they're the most sensible people in the world, if we're being honest. 
Um, again, Entrepreneur is uh, a mod that I have as the accountant bartending. So she can go into the medical career, the journalism career. Oh, so it's one of those two. Um, what do we think? What do we fancy for her? I don't think she's really... Um, she's got kind of some logic skill points and she keeps wanting to do logic skill things. All right, let's just go medical. There you go. You've got a new job. Let's talk about a new job with our husband and say, by the way, I mean, she has loads of time off now, so we don't have to go into work tomorrow, which is nice. We can actually focus on doing something other than that for them. We're actually going to um, tell him about the star that she named uh, after him and see how he reacts. They're getting on, which is nice. Should we... I don't know. Is that going to work? They don't really like each other. So we can try. Oh, okay. It seems to have worked. So let's see if we can hear any of those chimes. Okay, I didn't hear any chimes. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't think she is pregnant. Um, but I feel like we can just keep trying. I don't know. I think that would really add to this story because there's, it's unlikely they're going to actually marry. I mean, neither of them have the desire to. Um, whether they last even, I'm not entirely sure. So, I mean, they have this room. They'd have to convert it, I think, and move all that stuff out. So they're having a bit of a lion today, it seems, because they were really tired from the party last night. Um, but they are wasting most of the day, so I think I'm just going to wake them up now. Um, plus, they're really hungry. Who has the most skill points? I mean, he wants to learn how to cook, so yeah, we'll have him continue cooking. And she can't even make the bed, she's so hungry. But maybe she can, yeah, she can go for a bath. So what do we think he's making? It looks like it might be waffles that's the only thing they really know how to cook at the beginning yeah that's definitely waffles now is he gonna burn it place your bets okay he's not only burnt it he set fire to the whole kitchen which <sighs> why is him so bad at cooking like i'm not being funny i am not in any way a good chef but i have never once set fire to my house that's going to be an expensive oven to replace. Um, I mean, they do have an alarm, so a fireman should be coming soon. I think. Or, hello? Okay, there you go. They've arrived. <laughs> These Sims have never had a fire safety training video in their life, and it really shows they definitely needed to evacuate instead of standing around near the flames screaming oh what that wasn't even on fire <laughs> she put that one out no stop it that's ridiculous that one wasn't even on fire we've got insurance to cover our loss Oh, she's not very happy, is she? Look, we're just trying to cook waffles. Right, I'm going to have to replace all of this. So that's all their money going, even the curtains. Although these, these ones are fine. Yeah, they've just decided birthday cake is the best way forward. And I think, to be honest, I, I agree at this point. I think we're going to throw another party because we he wants to and also we have to throw a great party so we really need to put effort into this one. For some reason his birthday party was a flop, uh, I don't know what we did differently to all the other parties we've had, maybe there weren't enough people, maybe they were doing too much separately, I don't know but I think we're just going to invite everyone to this one um, and hope it pays off for them. Okay, let's just invite everyone we know and we'll take people off if there's not enough space for people we do actually like. There we go. Fit everyone in. Great. Um, let's do a house party. Uh, casual. At 5pm. I can't believe they're up so late. I mean, they've wasted a whole day just sleeping. 
I mean, to be fair, I do the same on a weekend, but that's not the point. You just ate. Why? What? Go take a shower. Or oh, no, you can't. <laughs> okay, fine. Go take a bath. I will get you a buffet table because clearly you guys can't be trusted to do anything in the kitchen. I'm going to put the buffet table like this um, so people can walk through and grab food as they go. There's places to sit here and eat and they can eat in the lounge. I think it's quite a nice place for it. Um, he wants to throw five parties. Oh my god. That's way too many parties. First guest already arrived. Who was that? Hello? Someone's parked up. Oh, okay. And some they've bought food. Good. <laughs> they heard about the incident. <laughs> They're like, it's fine. We'll just bring you some food. Stay safe. Thanks. Goodbyes for the waffles. All right. That's a bit of a dig, but I'll get over it. Um, pancakes from Boyd. Thank you. Zelda May, I swear we don't like her. Or well, someone really hates her. Why she come? Fish and chips. Parker with that outfit. Oh, my God. Emma Hatch is here, Blair Wainwright, and they've all bought food. I think anyone who brought waffles is just trying to make a dig. I don't know who Lillian Gore is. Oh my god, there's so much happening. These people, f what? Oh my god. So we're going to be chatted to, we're going to be f had a flirtation joke from our listen to criticism, respond to question, listen to compliment. Zelda May is already over it. <laughs> don't don't we hate her yeah well no wonder you've stormed off and saying you don't like the party you've come to a party with people that don't like you see it's a lie because you can see here she actually is enjoying the party so why is everyone leaving <laughs> how bad is this party alright maybe we just go dance um, and try and get everyone else involved Okay, we've got Lisa Bunch and Blair Wainwright dancing, having a good time. Hank is starting to smell, but I, it's just when you're dancing, it's going to happen. This party is so chaotic. Oh my god, there's an argument. Goodbye, some Boyd. Why are they fighting? What, who is she? Why are they fighting? Oh my god. The conflict. And everyone seems to be having a good time. This is what I mean. I don't understand The Sims. These people are having full-on fights. Really aggressive. And this is supposed to be a really good party. VJ, I'm sorry, but this is like the third time you've said you have to leave. Just go. You two styles. What's poor Lian doing? Oh, dancing wildly with... Nick Alto. I mean, he's rich. Get it. Oh, there's Malcolm. Malcolm showed up. He's just staring at the side of a TV. Or at a wall. What's he doing? Staring at a wall. No, he's staring at walls. <sighs> he's maybe not the sharpest tool in the drawer, is he? These two are going to be like worst enemies by the end of this evening. Should we probably step in or something? No, I'll just leave it. Right, she wants to hug Hank armorously. <laughs> that's a bit of a mouthful, but that's fine. We can do that for her. Um, they seem to, for party animals, they seem to have really avoided this party. There we go, see, tomorrow knows how to throw a good party. Everyone seems to be enjoying it now, which is nice. <gasps> the ghost. Wait, Joe Crumplebottom has aged up to a toddler. Let me see the ghost. Where is he? <gasps> oh my god, he's so cool. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Right. I need a close-up of this child. I, I'm sorry, Joe Crumpleton's still my favourite character in this whole thing now. I mean, look how cool. Okay. Alright. His hair colour is... He's blonde. I mean, we'll never be able to see it anyway, but that's not the point. I don't know whether you can see it or not. He's apparently wearing orange. Um, let's just make out the general shape. To be honest, colours don't really matter to him. He's a ghost. Um, nice ocean theme. Um, given that he drowned and he's artistic yeah he's such a good baby I love him right let's let him be <laughs> let's let him age up in his own time okay so she's given up on trying to hug her fiance because he's just in the bath um, but everyone's leaving so they'll have a chance they think soon oh who broke the sink 
Alright, we're going to have to fix that. Must have been a good party then. Do you know what? Thank you, Justine, for clearing up the mess that some people are incapable of clearing up. I greatly appreciate it. Um, let's call the repair technician because there's no way either of these two know how to do, like, how to fix a sink if they keep setting fires to things. There's no way. God, there's so much food. They're going to be eating like royalty for the next week. We didn't even have to put the buffet out. Um, she is thinking of marrying, but it's a bit. She's a bit worried about it, I think. So I don't feel like she really wants to do it quite yet. Okay, she's going off to flirt with the fiance in the bathroom with Malcolm Langrab standing around. No, I believe in you. Go on, say he looks nice. Okay. Maybe he has to say something to her. God, she just she complains a lot, doesn't she? Have day brightened. Thank you, Malcolm. But don't you see we're trying to have a moment? Yeah, okay, I think she's completely trapped. I think we need to ask him to leave, because... <laughs> can you please leave this room? <laughs> because none of us can get out, because you just stood in the way. Oh, I lied. Pauline Lang was just complaining for the sake of it, then. Um, yeah, of course she didn't like the party, because we just kicked you out last minute. Probably not helped our score. Right, Tuesday Sears is here to fix the sink, and anything else that's broken that we don't realise is broken. Um, I wonder how our party did. Oh, so we seem to have another age up. Um, we have Benjamin Jolina. Wow, he is a teenager. Um, they grow up very fast in this game. I like it. I like the flared jeans. First glance, I approve Benjamin. He has like the face of his mum, but the hair and the like everything else of his dad. Um, there's no way he was going to... Thornton was going to be able to keep this kid secret. Um, okay, he's got very interesting style. Okay, so he has a kind of flared jean, biker guy. I mean, the shoes go with the top. I'm, I, I kind of, I don't know if I like it, but I appreciate that it is a style. He kind of seems like he's from a different decade, particularly with what he's wearing there. That's not great. Um, that's fine. I appreciate a, a modest king. That's okay, it's all right outfit. And there we go, that's the swimming one. And he is excitable, genius, light sleeper and a loner. He seems to be quite a sweet sim actually. Um, kind of quiet, he seems probably not very cool, <laughs> but that's fine. I like that, I like that jo uh, Jamie Jolina has had this sweet, kind of nerdy kid. I feel like him and Thornton are not going to get on though. I don't think Thornton associates himself as like a nerd. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I feel like they they might have a bit of an awkward relationship. Back to these two, and I wonder if I wonder if we just propose at some point and just see is this going to progress at all? I mean, they don't seem to get on that well, but I don't know. Neither of them want to. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Um, anyone want to do anything else? Learn a skill, invite someone over, play guitar, no. Okay, well I think um, like a party make out. And then I think we are going to try again with the Risky Wahoo and then I think tomorrow I might have um, one of them propose and see what the other one says. I don't think it's going to go well, but if it ends the relationship, it ends the relationship. I can't, it, they, they can't just stay engaged forever, can they? I mean, maybe they can. Maybe that's how they prefer it, but we just need to see if this is really going anywhere. Yeah, I don't think she's got pregnant again. Um, well, let's have them sleep. And um, when they wake up, I think... Are we going to have Hank propose? Yeah, maybe. I mean, he has commitment issues, but... 
I think of the people to propose, it's going to be Hank. See, she's thinking of not marrying, which isn't a good omen, and she's thinking of not loving anyone. Oh, he's thinking of not loving anyone too. Right, so they're both, they're both, I just don't see how they're going to both work out. But I think we'll have a go. And if they end up getting married, they end up getting married. It's fine. Okay, let's wake him up. He's going to be really too hungry to do this, but... Have a private wedding. Let's see. How does it go? Fingers crossed, everyone. Or not. I don't know. Depends on how you want the story to play out, I suppose. Let's see. What does she say? She says, look, me and you, we've been engaged for... Oh, no. That's a definite no. Oh, that is awkward. Oh, no. Oh, what do they do? Ah. Well, how attractive do you find him? <laughs> and how attractive do you find her? Because if they don't think each other... I guess they must be attracted to each other. They're engaged, but... Yeah, so she's, she finds him blindingly stunning. He must think the same of her. So then... Oh, but if they're not going to progress, maybe they're just going to be engaged forever. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I think in all honesty, they're not going to progress any further. We've brought their relationship up a bit, but they're not... I just don't think... I mean, I know, I think they're really attracted to each other, but I just don't think they're meant to be. I think we'll have one more risky wahoo, and then I think, to be honest, we just break up. And I know that sounds bad. I feel like I'm really, like, swaying this narrative here, but... Come on, there's... Oh, oops. <laughs> He's broken up with her. <laughs> he broke up with her before they could do risky wahoo. And now they're just going to have a breakup with who, which is not what I was going for there, but that's fine. She didn't really seem that bothered, did she, when he broke up with her? You can see that, so, I actually, I, do you know what? I think they were both kind of relieved for that to be over, because it didn't affect them at all. Their relationship is still on the same level. Maybe that's the best way forward for them, actually. And final check, is she pregnant? I couldn't hear anything. No, she's not. Okay. But that's probably for the best. Um, they seem really happy. None, neither of them are sad that they've broken up. She doesn't even have, like, a broken up with Moodlet. Right, well, I guess... I mean, he already wants to go out and meet a compatible sign, so I guess that's what we do for him. Um, wow. Okay, well... I feel less bad. Maybe they can just, like, live together and stay friends and... I think these two are kind of meant to be, but just not in terms of in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? They're just too similar. Is this not an awkward meal for them? Or... No, he's like the music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's just clean up. Um, and let's, in the last day that we have with you guys see if we can find anyone that will be compatible for you um i mean we've got justine and jamie they're already in relationships of sorts um i mean jamie more specifically um lisa bunch has she grown up yeah she's an adult now maybe lisa let's invite lisa over and see and see what he thinks she doesn't really seem to want to um get to know anyone else i feel like she's happy being single at this moment and besides i don't think there's anyone here that she really would want to be with anyway maybe styles i can try him um and we'll see okay well he's flirting with her and she's reciprocating, so I don't feel a lot of hope for the people they're inviting over. <laughs> they're inviting people over, but they're still flirting. Well, 
do you want to try one more time while you've got your guests downstairs? Oh my god, these two. These two are the worst. <laughs> Stars just stood outside. <laughs> you can come in if you want. Personally, I wouldn't bother at this point. Oh, well, Hank's got work, um, so he might struggle to meet a compatible sign in time. Okay, she's really not. They, they're too safe. She's really not pregnant, so let's go and consider the attractiveness of Lisa Bunch. No, I don't want you to go to work right now. We need to just check if she's someone worth pursuing for you. And we can also ask um, what her sign is, and hopefully it's compatible. Stars has left. Oh, not an ideal choice. Hank could do worse than Lisa Bunch. Maybe he's, yeah, see, maybe he's just not over Pauline. Although they are a compatible sign. Okay, well, that's nice. Um, let's just go to work. I don't think... I think she's going to kick Lisa out. There's no way she's going to let her just stick around. Oh, she's left of her own accord. I just, I, I, oh, she, oh, she already disliked Lisa Bunch, didn't she? She really hated her. Oh, that's a bit of a, not a great move on Hank's part, but maybe she's trying to make her jealous. I don't know. He did break up with her, but she seemed deeply unbothered, so I don't know. Hank has got his first day in the music career, um, and I've no idea if he's going to be any good. But he does have a, a level two of guitar skills, so I'm sure he's not going to be awful. Let's have Pauline Wan and her good friend Jamie uh, go out somewhere, maybe to the park, um, and see if she can meet anyone out there. Or if maybe they're just going to have a nice day, the two of them. Yeah, they're all thinking of the little ghost baby, which, I mean, so am I. I'm always thinking of the little ghost baby. They all are, look at them. Oh, let's invite um, our good friend Morgana into the conversation as well. Because she doesn't seem to be having a great conversation with Agnes. And Eric is having a conversation with Tamara. I feel like this is a really nice girl group, actually, the three of them. I've just realised, actually, that these two... <laughs> Jamie stole Morgana's man. I completely forgot about that. And I've just invited her over for this really awkward conversation. Oh no. Oh, she, she stared her down properly there. Um, so Jamie's improved her charisma, probably because she's having to navigate this horrible situation with Morgana. She keeps staring at her. <laughs> and, and Jamie's kind of stood away from the group. Maybe we should put an end to this awkward social dynamic, but it's just so interesting. Look, they keep staring at each other. Jamie, stop staring. Oh, now she's asking her something like, how do you feel now you have my husband? Oh, amazing, I feel great. I really love having him instead of you. Oh, they all got on and she's left. <laughs> that was nice. That was clearly the end of that conversation. They've all just gone off on their own their own directions. Bye Joe. I wonder if Pauline and Hank will get back together. They do want to see other people though, so that's they they both have this aspiration, so they can't just stay together, can they? Maybe they can. It's clear not what they want. Right, I'm gonna let her fish until she's gained a, a skill point in it. And let's see how Hank's doing. He is doing pretty well actually in his first day. Um, he's not going to get promoted today, but he's got a good way into it. Um, and maybe the structure's going to be better. Pauline has given up on fishing because she's going to be hugged by her friend. 
Oh, she was... Oh, I see. I reckon Morgana ended that conversation just so that she could get rid of... <laughs> get rid of Jamie. I think it's probably time to, to go back home, um, eat something, get washed up. I know Hank's already home. Um... Do you know what? I feel bad. I feel like I broke them up prematurely. I think they weren't working, but it was clearly working for them. Um, I'm going to see if I can get them back together, uh, see if they want to get back together at all. Um, if they don't, then that's fine. But we'll just see. I'm going to have him enthused about music because that is something that they do have in common. So I'm just trying to find the common thread. Um, oh, the way they look at each other. He's going to flatter and praise her. Let's heap this on. I think we have to get them to be just friends first. And then, yeah, has to be just friends. And then we can go back to being in a relationship. I think that's the way it has to go. Okay, now they're just friends. Let's, let's amp it up. So she's starting to smell, but that's okay because this is love. Um, she's going to say how much she finds him attractive. Um, and he is reciprocating. And they're okay. Now they're romantic interests again. Oh, it's so easy. I think I feel bad. I think they kind of belong together, to be honest. And if I ask them to go steady and she says no, then I've got my answer, don't I? Do you want to go study with him? Oh, no. She was happy with it being the way it was. Um, okay. We're just going to have him say sorry for that. Okay. So maybe they're just... Maybe they're better off just being romantic interests. I think that's probably how it's best for them to go. I think they're going to hug it out. Um, and one last <laughs> try. I know I keep doing this, but... I don't, I just, I know that they're not going to want to have a child themselves. Um, so we'll just leave it down to fate to decide. It's a little randomizer. <gasps> Did you hear that? Oh, I actually do think she's pregnant this time. <gasps> oh, she actually is. Yeah. She's pregnant. So I... I don't a lot's happened this episode <laughs> with their relationship and I don't I don't know why it all happened and why it went the way it did. Um I think we're just gonna sneak a crib into their room. Um I don't have I don't think they're gonna wanna get rid of their gym. But so much has happened this episode. Um they started off this episode engaged, um and I thought you know, they didn't really seem to be getting on that well. Um, their relationship wasn't super high. And they both had lifetime wishes to be girlfriends and boyfriends with other people. And I just thought, you know, see if they want to marry there and then. And they didn't. So I made the decision for them um, that they should break up. Um, we tried with Hank to see if... You know, there was someone else he liked. Uh, he became friends with Lisa Bunch in the process. But other than that, he didn't really find her that attractive. Um, I actually don't think these two find anyone other than each other super attractive. They, they really get on so well. And actually, I do think for them to just be romantic interests is probably the best outcome for them. Um, there's no labels. There's nothing serious. And they don't have those commitment issues, which uh, has led them to both change their jobs in this episode. Um, Hank is now in the music career. Pauline is now in the medical career. Um, she does, to be fair, have quite good um, links there. And she's really good friends with Jamie, who's now her boss. Um, and Morgana, her other friend, is her co-worker. So actually, she's just moved into a career with her friends, which, um, I mean, I completely understand why you would do that. However, um, as I have been persistent... <laughs> She has fallen pregnant this episode, which means the next episode we will be having a little wan. Um, I think, yeah, it'll be a little wan baby. 
and I've put in a blue crib just because I think it goes a bit more with their bedding but I've no idea what the gender of that baby will be and we will have to find that out next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing how they co-parent this child and how, I mean, they have such a confusing relationship and, and I don't really understand. I mean, they don't want to flirt with anyone else. They've got no aspirations to do that, but they also don't want to commit to each other. So I don't, I don't really understand them, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to randomise again and we're going to see which family we're going to play next time. Okay, so I randomised the number four, which means that next time we are playing the Bachelor household. Um, this one is exciting because it is uh, Michael Bachelor, who, uh, as you know from the last episode, is now in a relationship with Sandy French. And we also have Bella Bachelor, who eventually becomes Bella Goth. So we can start progressing the romance between her and Mortimer Goth, who is here. Um, so that's very exciting. We're going to get that progressed. Um, and we also have the uh, two uh, Simis and I can't remember the name of the mother, um, but I will we'll find that out next episode. Um, so I, I can see that they've both aged up to elders and I think these two might actually be adults now. So that's going to be a fun round to play next time. It'll help forward the story and we've got a bit of Sims lore in there, which is very exciting. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Uh, thank you again for everyone who's left those really nice comments. It really means a lot. And everyone who has liked, commented and subscribed. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>